Although the name was unchanged, the new US POS said it split from its European cousin. Built atop the existing PQ46 platform and stretched to offer plenty of rear seat room, the American-built car was designed and engineered to go after the Toyota Camry. Meanwhile, the European Passat, which uses the newer MQB architecture, moved to become a credible alternative to Audi, while the US Passat's powertrain lineup is topped by a 3.6-liter V6, which VW of America claims exhibits European-type restraint in its fuel consumption. That engine has been purged from the European lineup because of its drinking habits. The range-topping Continental Passat comes with a 276-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four. And even though we love the silky smooth sound of the 6, the equally powerful 4 arguably is a better engine, strong enough, according to PW, to propel this car to 62 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds and onto an electronically limited 155 miles per hour. The fuel economy is laudable. We managed an indicated 21 mpg, with extended amounts of driving and triple digit speeds. In the European test cycle, this Passat is rated at 33 mpg, and with a light foot, that figure is achievable. The engine's output is channeled to all four wheels through a crisp shifting six-speed dual clutch automatic. This Passat is an absolute joy to flog on twisty roads. The steering is precise, direct, and nicely weighted. The pleasantly firm suspension is adjustable in three settings and is neither too harsh nor soft in any of them, and the car is neutral at the limit. The brakes bite sharply and exhibit no fade. Our car was fitted with 18-inch wheels, which do their part to visually spice up this car's otherwise painfully conservative styling. Whether you are driving through medieval towns, enjoying winding byways, or traversing the autobahn at 155 miles per